The journey of Shakari Richardson is one of the most inspirational stories in sports history. Shakari is born with so much talent and showed it pretty early in her career. Many years she struggled and couldn't qualify herself for international championships. This season she surprised everybody with a stunning performance, but let's start from the beginning. In 2016, at the age of 16, Shakari celebrated her first victory in her early years. At the AAU Junior Olympics, the largest national multi-sport event, she won over 100 meters in 11.75. Shortly before the Youth Olympics, she even raced a fantastic time of 11.34. One year later, she defended her title at the Junior Olympics in 11.58. In 2017, Shakari improved again her personal record from 11.34 to 11.28. Before she went to the University of Louisiana, Richardson won a state championship in wind at 11.12. In 2019, in her freshman year at LSU, Shakari broke the first time the under 11 seconds barrier over 100 meters in 10.99 in Jacksonville, Florida. On the 8th of June 2019, the 19-year-old Shakari wrote history for the first time. At the NCAA championships in Austin, Texas, the powerful sprint talent went absolutely insane. In the final, Shakari pulled away from the field and won in a sensational time of 10.75, college record. A new star was born and everybody expected medals in the next years. At the US Championships, she finished 8th in the final in a time of 11.72 and couldn't qualify herself for the World Championships in Doha. After her first college season, Shakari left LSU and signed with Nike to focus just on her career. During the COVID year 2020, Richardson did as many other athletes not many races. She showed her best performance in Fort Worth, Texas in wind aided 10.79. In the Olympic year 2021, the American track star started outstanding at the Miramar Invitational in Florida. In the final over 100 meters, she improved her personal record to 10.72. With the win, she went as a favorite to the US Nationals in Eugene, Oregon. In the semi-final at the US Nationals 2021, Shakari shocked the world again when she raced a wind aided time of 10.64. In the final, she had to deal with a lot of headwind, but still managed to win in solid 10.86. Everybody was so excited to see her racing at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Shortly after her sensational win, it got pronounced that she got banned for a month for smoking marijuana. In an emotional interview with NBC, Richardson explained her use of marijuana was a way of coping with the unexpected death of her mother, which she discovered from a reporter, an experience she says sent her into a state of emotional panic. In the late season, Shakari participated at the Prefontaine Classics when Elaine Thompson Hara raced the second fastest time in history in 10.54. Shakari couldn't show her potential and finished last in 11.14. With a lot of hope and energy, Shakari prepared herself for the season 2022. It was a big goal to finally represent the US on the international stage. She was hoping to participate at the World Championships on home soil in Eugene, Oregon. At the Prefontaine Classics end of May, we saw a great sprint battle between Elaine thompson Hara and Shakari Richardson. Elaine dominated in excellent 10.79, but Shakari also raced very solid in 10.92. In the following races before the US Nationals, Shakari showed her great shape. At a Star Athletic meeting in Montverde, she raced wind aided 10.82 and 10.73. In New York, she finished second behind Aaliyah Hobbs in 10.85. Nobody could understand what happened at the US Nationals. Shakari fell to advanced out of the heats in the 100 meters. Another season, another disappointment. Shakari is gifted with so much talent, but in the most important race of the year, she failed again. In the late season, the Americans started at the international meeting in Luzern against the Jamaican legend Elaine thompson Hara. It was such a close race with a lot of headwind. Shakari raced one one hundredth of a second faster and won in 11.29. At the Diamond League race in Brussels, Shakari raced her best time in Europe in 10.93. At the Diamond League final in Zurich, Shakari didn't race well in 11.13. In 2023, everything changed. Shakai Richardson won the 100 meters at the Myanmar Invitational in a blazing hot start to her season 2023. In the heat, Richardson directly impressed with her stunning shape. In wind aided 10.75, she stormed over the finish line with such crazy speed. The time was already outstanding, but in the final it was actually unreal. In the second run, Shakari really shocked the world when she raced a wind aided time of 10.57. Four weeks later, the American traveled with a lot of confidence to Doha, Qatar, to race at her first Diamond League meeting of the year. 
It was a stunning battle against the World Championship silver medal winner Sharika Jackson. The Jamaican showed in the last years a great progression over the short sprint distance. In Monaco in 2022, she improved her personal record to 10.71. Sharika started very powerful in Doha, but Jacquerie finished stronger and won an amazing 10.76. Richardson achieved her first Diamond League win in her career. At the US Nationals, the 23-year-old improved her personal record again in the heat in 10.71. In the final she won in a great time of 10.82. One week later we were all excited to see her next Diamond League race of the year in Silesia, Poland. The race in Poland was actually very similar to Doha. The Jamaican Sharika started very good again, but Shakari finished stronger and won in the same time of 10.76. When we look at the race we can see how dominant Richardson is in the last 40 meters. She's showing great strike length, excellent force production and a fluid technique. Even when Jacquerie only finished second in the last competition before the championships, the famous American went with a lot of confidence to her first world championship in Budapest. In the heat, Jacquerie directly dominated in an excellent time of 10.92. Richardson pretended to flick sweat off her bra as she crossed the finish line. In the semi-final, we saw the three fastest women of the year lining up next to each other. Sharika Jackson, who just improved her personal record at the Jamaican Nationals in 10.65. Marisha Setalu, who raced very solid during the season in 10.75, and Shakari Richardson, who is aiming to break the under 10.7 barrier for the first time. The race started with a shock for Shakari. She totally missed the start and was directly a meter behind. She reacted very slowly and had to catch up. Sharika and Marisha Se finished with the exact same time in 10.79. Shakari still raced fast in 10.84. On the 21st of August, we saw one of the most exciting 100 meter races in history. Richardson, racing on lane 9, showed finally the world her outstanding talent. After a decent start, the 5 foot 1 sprinter took another gear and finished outstanding in 10.65. Personal record, championship record, Shakari won her first world championship gold medal over 100 meters in her debut. Second finished her strongest competitor during the season, Sharika Jackson in 10.72. Shalene Fraser Price finished third in 10.77. Shakari never gave up after many years of struggling. In the late season, the new world champion finished first in Zurich in 10.88. At the Diamond League final in Eugene, Oregon, Shakari finished fourth in 10.80. The final won Sharika in 10.70. The outdoor season 2024 is already starting, and we can be so excited how fast Shakari is racing in the Olympic year. Save the date, on the 6th of April in Myanmar, Florida, Shakai Richardson will open up her season again. I can't wait for the Olympic final at the women's 100 meters. What we already know, it will be a stunning battle. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.